Misha, y'all already know where I stay at. Cooking it up in the kitchen. And today, we're doing something quick and easy. Y'all know, I get you in and out. Quick and easy meals. And today, we're going to be doing baked spaghetti. Baked spaghetti, yes. Anyway, child, it's quick and easy. And today, we'll be using the Barilla tomato and basil. Barilla. I have some Publix spaghetti. And I have some Publix ground chuck. And I have some organic valley mozzarella cheese. And I have the three cheese blend, which is the sharp cheddar, Kobe, and Monterey Jack cheese. Yes, those are the cheeses we will be using. Easy, not expensive ingredients. Y'all know I get y'all in and out, and I don't have y'all paying an arm and a leg. Quick, easy, affordable meals. Those are the kind of meals I like. Especially with everything going on nowadays. All right, so easy ingredients, as if you're making regular spaghetti. That's all it is. It's easy, y'all. Let go. Okay, guys, I'm back. As you can see, I've already got my pasta and my meat sauce already ready. Already, come on, y'all. I know y'all ain't gonna see me do that. I've done it a million times on this channel. Maybe y'all did. So next time, I'll let y'all see me cook it. So anyway, I just wanted to make this a nice, quick video. We've got our pasta, spaghetti pasta already done. Uh, we've got our uh, meat and spaghetti sauce back there already ready already. So, and I've got my cheese over there. So, let me show you guys what I'm doing. I'm going to put it in the oven. I'm going to bake it in the oven. But I'm going to do something different. I'm going to use my Dutch pot right here. So, I'm going to go ahead and make everything in here. Y'all will see. Y'all will see. Okay. So, we've got our pasta in there. I'm gonna go ahead, let me add the meat sauce. I'm adding all of it. Yes, all of it. All right. Got that in there. Stirring my meat sauce up in here with my pasta. Yes, let's get that all nicely blended up. And y'all can see I'm using my new cookware, my new pink cookware. Y'all follow me on Instagram. And if y'all seen my unboxing on YouTube, y'all will see that yes, your girl got some new cookware. Yes. Let's go. Let's get it done. I mean, you know, if you cook as much as I cook, after a while, unfortunately, your, your pots and pans, they take a beating now. You cooking all the time, they definitely take a beating. So, got to replace your cookware. Well, that's just what I choose to do. So, got some new cookware here. And I've had my YouTube channel. Uh, just so y'all know, October the 1st was my two-year anniversary. Shouts out to me. Two years doing YouTube. October the 1st was my uh, two-year anniversary on YouTube. I thank God for all he has done. I thank God for my growth. And yeah, we're going to get this all mixed up real good, y'all. Y'all see me mixing it already. Now, sometimes I cut my noodles up, you know. Sometimes these noodles be too long, so... I'll be cutting them up. Get this all mixed up. I wanted this to be the main part of the video for y'all to see how I do it. Let's get that meat all mixed up with those noodles here. And I got my new spoon too that came with my cook set. Isn't it beautiful? Yes. So, I'm going to go ahead get my noodles chopped up. I'm going to use my spoon to kind of chop my noodles up. Y'all see how I'm doing it. Just chopping it up with the spoon. Nothing serious. Chopping it up. You all can see how I'm doing that. Yes. It smells so good. And oh yeah, I did add a little sugar to my spaghetti sauce. Yes, I did. It's my sauce. I can do what I want to do with it. So, I added spaghetti, uh, some sugar to my spaghetti sauce. So, anywho. Y'all know that sugar takes that tomato bite off. That tomato bite be strong. Okay. I'm going to move this spoon out of the way. Because it's not doing what I want it to do. 
So, I don't want to, I really don't want this fork mixing my new pan. That I don't want. I don't want it scratching up my stuff. Let me get my noodles cut up. I don't like the way it's blending. So, let me get my cooking scissors. Get them wiped off. Go ahead and get these noodles cut up. Yeah, because the noodles too long. They're not blending like I need them to. So we just cutting them up. Cutting them up with the cooking scissors. Chop, chop, chopping around. Making sure I don't touch the side or the bottom of this pot with these scissors. We're going to chop it up. We don't want to chop it up too much because, you know, we still want to have that spaghetti. Spaghetti going. Oh, that's good enough. You want to talk about scissors? Okay. Alright, so now let's see how we blending. Oh yeah, much better. Much better. Alright. Get the meat mixed in all good. Oh yeah. That looks amazing. Now, okay, let's get it all pretty now. Get everything all pretty. Okay. So we got our spaghetti. Now, let's go ahead and add our cheese. Our cheese. Okay, you guys can see well. All right, so I'm gonna do the three, three mixed cheese. I'm doing some of that. But now the three mixed cheese, I'm mixing that in. That's the one I'm gonna mix in with the spaghetti. Mixing it in. Yeah, just showing y'all how I do my um, baked spaghetti. Well, Dutch pot, whatever you want to call it. Got my oven preheated to 350 already. Blending this cheese in. And after I get through getting this all mixed in, I'm going to put a layer across the top. And I'm going to put it in the oven for about 20 minutes. Our spaghetti's already done. Y'all know that. Spaghetti's already done. So, I'm going to go ahead. Y'all going to see. I got the mozzarella cheese. I saved that for last. I'm going to put that across the top. Put mozzarella across the top there. Uh-uh, mozzarella. I'm trying to come out all clock. I don't think so. Are you trying to mess up my video? Oh. Come on, cheese. Let's get it all spread it around all nice and pretty. Now, we don't want to cover the spaghetti all up. Now, we want to be able to still see the spaghetti when it's cheese milk. So, I'm going to leave a couple of... See how I got some spaghetti left out? Yeah, because I want to see my spaghetti now after all this is said and done. Uh-uh! What the devil is a lie? Come on now. I'm going to be doing that organic cheese. That's this organic cheese. It's tripping. That's all right. I'll break it up. Okay. All right. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. All right. So we got that all on there. Wash my hands real quick while y'all look at that. Okay. Y'all see how it's looking. It's looking good, y'all. Now, let's go ahead. Last thing I'm going to add is that parsley. Child, he over here waiting, child. He over here waiting. Ready to go somewhere, parsley. Ready. Get it all pretty with the parsley, y'all. Parsley do make, make stuff pretty. He, he do. I ain't even going to lie. He too be doing it up. So, all right, y'all. Y'all see it. Let me go ahead and get in the oven. I'm going to put it in the oven right here in my Dutch pot. Put it in there about 20 minutes. We'll see until that cheese get nice and golden brown across the top. I'll be back, y'all. It'll be the grand finale. Okay, guys, I just took the spaghetti out of the oven. And y'all see it. It is looking amazing. It looks good, and I'm ready to dig in it. So I'm going to make this outro real quick. Now, the reason why I didn't let it get all brown and brown, too brown across the top, because it burns the noodles across the top when you do that. I ain't trying to burn my noodles that I paid for. So, just so y'all know. But, yes, it looks amazing. Y'all know I'm going to take y'all in. Y'all know I'm going to take y'all in. Look at that. Oh, that's some goodness right there. 
That's some goodness. That's Dutch pot spaghetti. I guess that's what I'll call it. Whatever. Y'all will see the name, the title of the video. So, all right. Y'all seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.